Hi, I'm Marco Selkozer, and welcome back to K-12 Analytics Engineering. Today, we are going to be looking at EdFi's admin app. The goal of this video is to help you become comfortable with generating EdFi API keys to give to your vendors so that they can sync your data back to you, back to your EdFi API. This is a great video to watch if you have just deployed your EdFi API and you are ready for the next step. So let's jump over to the computer now and let's look at the admin app. Here I am on my Google Cloud project right after deploying EdFi using my Google Cloud installer. And so if I go to Cloud Run, I'm going to have two services here. Let's start by looking at the EdFi API. And this is going to load now and show me my EdFi API version. If you did not deploy EdFi on Google Cloud using the installer, this video is still going to be helpful for you. Uh, but if you are going through the learning journey, then this should look familiar to you. Here we are, so I've got my EdFi API v5.3, and I have my TPDM core. So now I'll go back to Google Cloud Run, and I'm gonna look at my other service, my EdFi admin app. I get this URL here at the top. If I click on that, we're gonna give this a couple seconds to go ahead and load. The way the Cloud Run works is that it scales applications down to zero when they're not getting any requests, and then Google stops billing you. And then as requests are coming in, then Google Cloud Run will start to spin up the container again to serve the application to you. Okay, since this is the first time that I've launched the admin app, I want to click on register as a new user and I want to complete this form. So I'm going to go ahead and put in my email address and I'll go ahead and put in a password here. Click register. The first thing that the admin app shows me is my additional setup required prompt. So I click continue and let it do its thing. Now enable product improvement. This is something that you want to disable if this is a development environment, but it is something that you want to enable if this is your production instance. Clicking click here to obtain a key is going to po point you to a form where you put in your organization name and then EdFi provides you an ID to put back in the product improvement. This is super helpful for the EdFi Alliance because it provides some usage statistics so that the Alliance knows uh, how many instances of EdFi is out there. So for now, I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck that box and click proceed. And I land here. So my EdFi API is running in your specific mode. And so what I want to do is I want to register one of my ODS instances. I'm going to go ahead and register just my school year 2022 one for now, but you could go back and register others later. So I fill this out and I click save. Great. And now I'm going to go to the home screen and I'm going to start setting up my vendor and application so that I have my API credentials. So we'll start with the vendor. Now I'll give an example that shows how I think about vendors and applications. So take Synergy Sys. Synergy Sys is an application that is provided by the vendor EduPoint. And so here I want to create a vendor called EduPoint. And vendors is the place where you provide a namespace. And typically the vendor is going to tell you what to put with their EdFi integration. I'm not sure of the one for EduPoint, uh, for Synergy's integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in URI colon colon uh, edupoint.com for now. And then uh, in your implementation, you'll wanna check with your vendor to see the right one to put. Contact name and email address. This is not seen by anyone outside of you. And so you can set this to whatever you'd like. Typically, I like to set this to the actual support email for the vendor. And so I would put something like edupoint support and support at edupoint.com and click save changes. Okay, I have my vendor set up and I can now click define applications, choose the instance that the application pertains to. So I'm just working in school year 2022 right now. Okay, now before I click on add application, I want to set up an education organization. So this EdFi deployment was done using the minimal template. So there is no data inside of the ODS right now. I'm only gonna create my LEA. So I'll go ahead and do that, create an LEA. 
And for this example, I'm going to create one with this ID, say it's uh, independent, call it Hogwarts, put in an address, and click Add. Now I'm not going to go ahead and add my schools. I'm going to let the sys do that for me. I'm only going to worry about my LEA. So I've got that. I'll go back to Applications, click on Add Application, and this is where I will put Synergy Sys. And I want to grant the API credentials access to the whole LEA. So I click on Local Education Agency and select Hogwarts. And I now need to select a claim set. So there are two claim sets that are related to Sys integrations. You have your Sys vendor and you have your district hosted Sys vendor. The biggest difference between the two is that district hosted Sys vendor allows for the creation of schools which is what I want my Sys to do for me in the EdFi sync. So I'm going to choose district hosted Sys vendor. This is the claim set that I recommend most of the time. The only time that I do not recommend it is with Skyward LEAs who want to use their local values. I'll do a future video that covers what I recommend in that use case. So here we've got district hosted and I now click add application. And that's it. So I have my API URL here and I have the key and secret that I will use when configuring my Sys's EdFi integration. So I can go ahead and copy this, store this in a secure place, and click I have copied the key and secret to close this out. Hopefully that helps you understand a little bit about the admin app and how to get started. It can be a little confusing at first to understand kind of where you go to successfully generate those API credentials. And so just to cover that again, we first registered our ODS instance, then we created a vendor, then we created an education organization, and that is specific to an ODS instance. And finally, we created an application that ties together the vendor to the LEA, and that gave us our EdFi API credentials.